Hey there! At Xperia we do a lot of work in supply chain and our customers are often interested in the prediction of demand on their products. So one of the most important aspects of supply chain we know for planning purposes is trying to figure out how much stuff we need and where we need it. So let us pretend that we have some sample data about the demand on each one of our products over time. So this is a time axis and this is demand. And maybe the data is seasonal, so we see effects like this. And then within each season, we would actually get these short-term varying effects. So we can predict these behaviors with pretty high accuracy using uh, standard methodologies like ARIMA, or more complicated and thus more accurate methodologies like uh, neural networks. So there's one particular architecture of neural network called a long short-term memory network, which is particularly capable of broadcasting, forecasting these types of demand curves. This is the same way that um, uh, equities traders forecast the price of a stock in the future. So all we're doing is we have an input history, and let's call this input history something like the past three time steps of um, demand on one of your products or maybe these are multiple lines of products and then we perform some math in this so-called latent space to which this is just multiply multiplying an addition a very simple neural network system that can be built in literally in hours and the output is another sequence of demand which we don't know yet so this is the next upcoming uh, demand. So all we do is we broadcast the information from each one of these product lines into the neural network and then this neural network does this internal broadcasting into itself and on the output side we get multiple time steps of output. So this is how all of temporal forecasting is done these days using long short-term memory networks.